You know that feeling in Skyrim when you open a chest or kill something and you see that tiny bit of gold in their inventory and you just have to take it every single time even though it won't help you whatsoever but what if you couldn't do that ever again this is skyrim without looting anything and my goal in this challenge is to beat skyrim's main questline and defeat the evil dragon alduin all while having to rely completely on quest rewards and shopkeepers hmm. the rules are i can't loot bodies chests basically everything with items inside but i also can't take items from the ground or tables or anything lying around the only exception being quest items which has to be looted to progress in the game i will be playing this on expert difficulty which makes enemies do 150% of their base damage and the player only do 75% of their base damage. Also, remember to join my Discord channel and to further support me, become a member of my channel. But without further ado, enjoy the video. We started in the iconic opening scene of Skyrim and we then made a beautiful Britain called Hilda the Anti-Thief. Yeah, I know it's bad. I had to come up with something on the spot. We then made our way through Helgen while struggling to not steal things and for once actually fighting enemies ourselves using fire and our special Britain exclusive called the Summon Familiar spell. We then chased a deer for no reason. Hey, look out, there's someone with fire around here, deer. Oh shit. No, there's an elk. Um, I don't know if you saw him, but it was actually a woman and she went around shooting things with fire. Don't know if you saw that, that girl. Um, What is that death animation? It didn't even die. It's a scam. Come back here, dude. When arriving to Rightrun and speaking to the Jarl, we got a free steel chestplate, which I totally forgot you could just get, and I was very happy about that. And then we made our way to Bleak Falls Barrow, where we had to kill our first enemies without Raylov's help. It went pretty well, and after completing our first puzzle and killing a few skeevers, we got to the room with the big spider where we absolutely kicked its ass. So, this might be a little harder than I originally thought. So fast, it's so fast. Oh, it's very bad at hitting. Oh my god, that was insane. After killing the spider and Avo the Swifty, we stole one of the few items that I allowed the golden claw. Then, after killing a bunch of Draugr. We stood at the big puzzle door, ready to kill our first mini-boss, the Draugr Overlord. Come on, attack him before he gets out. See what he can get to, he does nothing. He did a little bit, tiny tiny bit. Ouch. Okay. Ah, loser. You ready for this? When the Draugr lay dead, we stole another allowed item, the Dragonstone. And then after raiding the Nordic tomb, 
we headed to Riverwood to claim a little bit of gold by giving back the golden claw to the shopkeeper and then using that little bit of gold to buy some materials and craft some beautiful handcrafted pieces of armor. We then got back to Whiterun and delivered the Dragonstone and after hearing about the nearby dragon attack we got rewarded with another sweet gift from the Jarl which was worth a lot of precious shiny gold which we then used to buy a spell called Fire Atronach which you will see a lot more of throughout the video. With our new spell and armor acquired we headed out to kill our first dragon. Oh, there's a lot of damage. Now that's a lot of damage! Oh my god, just hit his head on the floor. Whoa, what just happened? Whoa, nice hit, bro. Got him, let's go. When it died, we sucked out and consumed its soul, and then got yelled at by the Greybeards. We then talked to the Jarl about me being dragonborn and getting myself a beautiful reward, the Axe of Whiterun, which will come in so much handy later. And he also offered us Lydia as a follower, but I decided I didn't need her, I could do this on my own. And that was probably the dumbest idea I've had in a long time. We then took a shortcut up the mountain to the Greybeard's old fort thing that I always forget the name of, where I learned a new shout that I can actually use this time, and they told us to go to Ustengraf to fetch their old, dusty, suspicious horn. When we made it inside Ustengraf, we actually had to fight things this time, and it was a lot harder than expected. No, dude. Do you not realize what's happening behind you? Ah yeah, wolf. Hey, 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 hey. You're shooting. <laughs> no, kill the ones that are trying to kill you. What the hell? No, I shouldn't have done. God damn, I'm dead. I can't hit him, and you're just gonna be fearing me like this. And this too. No, dude. Oh, he doesn't need to see you. Hello, you are not gonna die. Come on, use the shout. Come on, use the spell, I mean. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Loser. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That's insane, though. With this guy. No, 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 please. God damn it, it was so close. No, where did this guy come from?
Debs through. Oh my god, he flew! Oh my god! Absolutely crushed that guy's skull. This guy has so much health. Oh no, 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 please. That's dumb. That's really dumb. Give me a spider. Ah, ha, ha, what a loser. Oh, it's running away. <laughs> what did he just ditch? Hello? Come back, dude. Ah, <laughs> more fire. What's those enemies? The spiders up there? What? Didn't even know there was a place! Wait, what? But we made it to the end, and instead of the horn, we found a note which led us back to Riverwood again. And guess who was at Riverwood again? Yes, you're right. The cultists. And this time, we fought back. Oh, that well, this time we fought back. Elvor, help! I'm going to Elvor. Oh. Let's go, Wolf! Oh my god, why did it keep exploding? Oh! Wait, what? How did he die? But sadly, we lost a good friend in the battle. Elvor. He was like a father to me. Oh, all the good memories we had. Like the time he watched me smith armor. The time he saw me run past the city. And the time he watched me... Oh, I already said that. And the time we... Um... We... We... Um... Mm. Rest in peace, Elvor. Then, in Riverwood, we met Delphine, and we had to go on a fun little picnic to kill a dragon. But before that, I returned the Greybeard's old horn, and received a very nice shout in return, so now I can absolutely blast things to oblivion. We then spotted the dragon, and started fighting it. The wolf just staying behind and get take a few bites. Let's go, we are three in him now. He's getting destroyed. Did it, yeah. With the dragon dead, Delphine told us we had to go crash a party at the Thalmors to retrieve some top secret information. So we met up with a weird elf who spoke about someone fingering me, and we were not happy about that. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. What? I'll take care of the rest. You can't say that to a monkey woman looking at shit like this, like me. Hey, the party without being fingered Whoa, as well. dude! The rest. Have some respect, dude! Never should have come here. Wolf? Fuck you, dude! Respect the woman for it. Oh! 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 Have <laughs> arrow in the ass! They have another thing. All these people are so disrespectful, man! When we arrived to the party, someone caused a distraction. So we could sneak into the kitchen where the elf completely exposed all of the Kashid's secrets just to gain access. We were then ready to escape the party, and this time it went surprisingly well. Wolf, flame, what? Wolf? 
No. No. Ah! Ah! Oh, they can be. Get, they can run away. Let's go. No, you too. <laughs> it all works. They're the same level as me. That's that's an insane enchantment, though. Okay, so we go read this. Come on. Then the people are gonna come up there. We get a little bit of uh, can wait with this cool. A little bit of this. Then we uh, do that. Make them fall. That's really funny. A bit of fire. We don't kill it. Ha 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 ha! He can't just leave. <laughs> what? Inside the party, we read about an old man called Esperon, who lived in the sewers of Riften. And we were unfortunately out of cash, so we asked a bartender for work, and he told us to go clear out a bandit camp just nearby. So, dragon? There's a dragon? Dude, I can't kill a dragon? Dude, I can't kill a dragon. Oh my god, this thing is... Dude! I can't kill a dragon! Why the hell is that dragon? Dude, I'm just trying... What the hell? Whoa. Take this. Ah, what the hell? Hey. What's up, Dad? Oh, hello! <laughs> A man just gets in here with me. Is the dragon gone now? Oh, it's fighting something else now. The dragon's fighting. It's fighting a map? What is going on, dude? Oh no, you should have turned around. Turn around, dude. <laughs> That's absolutely beautiful. Whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, warning before dragon attack, please. Thank you. My god, if the thing died now. Oh, it didn't. How does it. Whoa! <laughs> Dude just survives being smashed by a tail and just flies in the air. Oh, this guy. Hello. Was that it? He was just a normal bandit, though. The bandit leader at Simon Moose Cave is dead. I'm here for the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. With our new beautiful gold, we took a carriage to Riften and went into the sewers to find Espern. First, we had to beat up a guy to learn where Espern was. And it turns out he was hiding inside some cell-looking thing. And then we had to escort him out, which also went surprisingly well. Come on, Delph not Delphine, Esperin. Nice. Okay, let's go. No, 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 please, please. 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 My god, I'm stuck. Come on, Esperin, do just stand there. Can we please just go on? We can't even see him from- Oh, there's someone over here. Absolutely destroyed. I don't know why this guy is so strong. Ring run the rosy. Beautiful. Nice. Okay, no, Esprin is fine. Enemies. Is it Esprin you're talking about? You need something? Dude, we are done. 
Lad os nu ind i her When we got Esperen home He told us about Alduin's wall Which supposedly should help us defeat Alduin in some way It was located in Skyhaven Temple Inside Carthspire Cave Which was guarded by a dragon and a dozen of Forsworn We then made it to Alduin's wall And learned about a shout that could bring dragons to the ground So we had to go learn that We were directed up the tallest mountain to the Greybeard's leader to learn the shout Who was also a dragon by the way Who also liked being lit on fire apparently The dragon told us the shout would be learned from an elder scroll So we set out to find that First off we stole an old man's belongings <laughs> And then made it to a dwarven ruin called Relbathar Where we found a ton of bandits, dwarven robots and former But we dealt with most of it on our own But a little later inside of Blackreach, we found a beautiful puzzle room containing the Elder Scroll. We then brought it back to the Dragon's Mountain and read it to magically learn the Dragon Range shout. And mere moments later, Alduin shows up. Firstborn of Akatosh, Malagi Zoklat. I cannot be slain here by you or anyone else. After struggling to kill Elduin for 35 minutes, he was then just really annoying and just flew away. And after watching him fly away, we wanted to find out where he went. So we asked the Jarl of Whiterun to help us by trapping a dragon in his city, where he humbly declined. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. But we convinced him with a promise of five minutes peace from the wall by attending a meeting at the Greybeards. We asked the Jarls of Solitude and Windhelm, and they both agreed, so we attended the boring meeting where we somehow broke the quest completely. Can you hear that? I'm uh, aggressive, probably a little bit aggressively clicking my uh, my things. No! <laughs> They're all looking at me. Hello? Which was terrifying, and we had to install some mod. And it was pure chaos. But it worked and we prepared to trap the dragon. When we called the dragon, it was stupid enough to go directly into our trap, which by the way, was extremely obvious. But he quickly leaked Alduin's whereabouts and offered me to sit on his neck, right where he just had a giant log setting. We then flew to Skuldafen, and he said some dumbass excuse for not bringing me all the way to Sovereign God's Gate, but we had to deal with it anyway. When first trying to enter Skuldafen, we got killed many times because it's ridiculously hard, and all the enemies there are way too strong. 
but we just figured it would be best to use the become ethereal shout and just run through it all. But when we got inside, every single Draugr followed us and we had our beautiful flame Atronach kill them by just abusing their old person habits of not understanding stairs. We then proceeded by killing every single Draugr and Spider and completing all of the different puzzles. When we escaped Skuldafen, we were met with even more dragons and Draugr and we successfully blasted a Draugr off the mountain. We also had to kill a dragon priest, which was a little bit too difficult but I learned I could just use a shout called Stormcall to absolutely shred it. There we go. Now hit him. Ha <laughs> ha It works! Oh, it does, it does actually a decent amount of damage. It's not bad. It goes almost directly for him. Come on, get some more hits on him. This is going great. Also, this is looking beautiful. And apparently, my Atronaut suddenly started trying to kill me. You're shooting at me? Dude, what? I summoned you. The hell is that guy's problem? I'm your master. Did I hit him with the lightning? But we managed to kill the dragon priest and go into the portal of Servant Guard. When inside Sovngarde, the place where Nords go in the afterlife, we headed for the Hall of Valor, a place filled with the souls of great warriors from all over Skyrim, to find the three warriors we saw in the Elder Scroll. Elduin too was here in Sovngarde and he was absorbing the souls of the fallen Nords to become stronger and we had to stop him. But before entering the Hall of Velor, we had to fight the Gatekeeper, soon. Normally, this fight is pretty hard, but with the help of our Fire Atronach, he got demolished. And we headed into the Hall of Velor, where we found the three great warriors, who started talking nonsense, so I didn't pay attention whatsoever. But when they were finished yapping, the final battle against Elduin was awaiting. And we started shouting Elduin's weird mist thing away to somehow weaken his power? Yeah, that doesn't really make sense. But just mere moments later, Elduin appeared. Using you using unrelenting shout on him, what is that gonna do? Where are those pesky meteors? No, get down, get down. somewhere else yes let's go <laughs> yeah we got him yes Under six hours, that's insane! 
Are you ready? <laughs> Let's go! Yes! The fight was actually quite fun this time around and we were also racing the clock to beat it in sub 6 hours and we just barely made it and my god that felt good. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen. After hours of going insane by looking at all the free items, being extremely undergeared and regretting I didn't use Lydia, I completed the challenge. So if you managed to enjoy it, leave a like, subscribe and become a member to help out my channel. Also remember to join my discord and follow my twitch where I stream this live, you can go check out via the links in the description. But that answers the question, can you beat Skyrim without looting anything?